Welcome to the video on vocabulary. My name is Pritinder Kaur and in this video I'm going to discuss a few vocabulary words which you might see in the GRE and SAT. Now these are very common words so it's better to pay a lot of attention and to enhance your learning experience you can listen to the video with your eyes closed or you can listen to this over and over again still you start remembering a few of these words because these are very important and we start with the top 12 words of GRE so I'll go to the next slide and we will start with the top 12 words that come on GRE first is anomaly that means something that is not normal an aberration or an abnormality a deviation from the normal rule anomaly is used just like a noun for example I found a genetic anomaly in his blood sample the second word is equivocal which means neutral uncertain very vague or ambiguous now a person can be equivocal intentionally to mislead someone or unintentionally if the person himself or herself is confused for example the judge gave an equivocal decision which was not biased towards any of the two parties the third word is lucid which means very transparent clear to the point and which can be understood by everyone for example the lecture on physics given by the professor was completely lucid now this means the lecture was understood by all the students as it was so clear and transparent now the synonyms for lucid are limpid lucullent pellucid the next word is precipitate it means to bring down abruptly or instantaneously or fall down for example rain and snowfall but the fall must be vertical according to gravity and one of the synonyms is precipitous next word is assuage that means to satisfy someone to provide relief to allay someone to placate someone tranquilize someone pacify someone or alleviate the problems of a person for example the customer care executive managed to assuage the angry customer so this is an example of assuage and some synonyms of assuage are mollify palliate and placate the next word is erudite that is directly related with knowledge having or showing a lot of profound knowledge for example the theories that are mentioned showed his erudite beginnings that means showed that how knowledgeable he was right now moving to the next six words next word is opaque which is the opposite of transparent it is an object or a property of an object that does not allow light to pass through it now apart from the literal meaning it can also be used to refer to an object or a concept or a theory or idea that is not clearly understood for example his hypothesis seemed opaque that means we could not understand what his hypothesis was all about so that means opaque next word is prodigal it means wasteful spending your resources recklessly without giving any second thought very extravagant very profligate and a squanderer for example his prodigal habits led his father to remove his name from his will prodigal means spending money spending resources without saving them the next is a very common word that is enigma it clearly means a mystery is something that cannot be explained for example the enigma of the Bermuda Triangle has not yet been explained scientifically so far so it's a mystery or it can be a secret the next word is fervid fervid is characterized by intense emotion very fervent ardent fiery torrid and per fervid for example the fervid display of emotions hampered the drama of the family so forward means very very intense so forward display of emotions means completely and excessively emotional the next word is placate it is uh, a bit related to assuage it also means gaining goodwill to satisfy someone to mollify to conciliate with someone and to assuage someone so I can use the same example over here that the customer care executive managed to placate 
the angry customer. Now another word that I remember here is implacable that starts with I M P L A C A B L E. Implacable means a person who is not satisfied no matter what he or she has. So a person who can never be satisfied or appeased or assuaged is called implacable. And the next word and the last one on this list is zeal. Zeal is equal to enthusiasm, a flair for something, an ardor, elan, strong eagerness. For example, the student showed a zeal for sports. All right, so that is zeal. And revising the top 12 words, anomaly, which is an abnormality, equivocal, that means neutral, Lucid means very clear, precipitate, just like precipitation means to fall down. Assuage is same as placate, means satisfy. Erudite means knowledge, opaque, something that does not allow light to pass through it. Prodigal, wasting, enigma is a mystery, fervid, intense emotion. Placate, satisfy and zeal is enthusiasm. Let's move to the next list, which is the next top 20 words of the GRE. So we start with abstain. Now abstain means to stay away from something, refrain or avoid something, desist something. For example, after jaundice, patients should abstain from alcohol, means they should stay away from alcohol. Next word is apathy. Apathy means apathy or absence of feelings. Now, path is a root word for feelings, so absence of feelings is apathy, that means indifference, numbness. For example, his apathetic attitude towards the accident surprised me, that means his attitude where he was not at all affected by the scene of the accident, so that shows his apathy. Adulterate, that means to contaminate, so this is a very common word, to contaminate especially uh, things that we can eat or drink, for example, milk is being adulterated with urea or a few other objects are being related or adulterated with water. So adulterate simply means to mix with an impurity, to dilute something, debase something, corrupt it or contaminate it. The next word is audacious. Now audacious is an adjective that means invulnerable to fear or intimidation. It means very bold, excessively bold that becomes a negative quality so a person should not be very audacious especially in front of seniors or people who are more learned or knowledgeable than he or she is so the noun is audacity and the adjective is audacious some of the synonyms are bodacious insolent and intrepid intrepid means a person who is not trepid who is not scared of anything who does not fear anything so audacious means very bold for example, the young politician had the audacity to stand up in front of the judge. Audacity means again boldness. The next word we have is laconic. Laconic means very brief, to the point, very crisp, curt and tense. Right? So I'll give an example. He gave a very laconic lecture of what was supposed to be 500 years of modern architecture. So, laconic again means very brief and to the point, not going into much details. The next word is capricious. Capricious means dependent on caprice, very impulsive, determined by whims and fancies and not by logic and reasoning. Something that keeps on changing, that is very vigorous. For example, capricious doubts or capricious dreams that are based on impulses again and not based on any common sense so such a person is called capricious the next word is laudable laudable is related to applause now applause is given for someone who is appreciated or commended or worthy of high praise so laudable is the person who is being appreciated for example that was a laudable gesture from your side that means whatever you have done or whatever gesture you have shown is appreciable or commendable. Now the next word is loquacious. Now L-O-Q is a root word for speech. For example, colloquialism or soliloquies. So loquacious means someone who is full of trivial conversation, who keeps on gossiping, 
is very talkative, very garrulous and very gabby. Lacacious persons are known to have the gift of the gab. Now, gift of the gab is a phrase that is used for lacacious persons. Lacacious people are those people who keep on speaking without any knowledge of whether others want to hear what they are speaking or not. The next word is corroborate. It means to produce something, to support something, to sustain something, validate, establish or strengthen something. For example, I give a lot of facts and figures to corroborate my final argument. So that is the meaning of corroborate, to strengthen or support something. The next word is mitigate. Mitigate means to reduce the seriousness or the bad effect of something, to palliate something or extenuate. For example, by sending over our troops, we can hope to mitigate the effects of the war. Mitigate means again, remove the effects of something or reduce the seriousness. The next word is desiccate. It means lacking spirit, lacking life which is very dry and arid, dehydrate or exisate. Desiccation is used a lot in the field of botany and desiccate means again draining something out of its life and spirit. The next word is pedant. Pedant is related to teaching and pedant is a person who gives a lot of attention to formal rules, who is a bookworm, a pedagogue, a scholastic. So his pedant ways of studying are really boring for a person like me. That means his pedant ways that he keeps sticking to books and keeps reading and reading all the day long. So that is pedant that gives a lot of attention to following proper rules and does not allow any difference in the rules. Now the next word that we will do is engender. Engender means generate something, give rise to something. For example, uh, the little incidents that keep happening in the office engender a lot of indifference and engender hatred among the employees. So that is engender, which means give rise to something or generate something. Next is pragmatic. Pragmatic means practical, something that's very practical. It's a very easy word and you can use it easily. For example, I must follow a pragmatic approach when I have to decide the next course of action. Now the next word is ephemeral which is for a very short period of time that does not live on for a very long period of time. The synonyms are transient, transitory and fugacious. For example, the mayfly has an ephemeral lifespan just of a few hours. So ephemeral means that does not have a very long time period. The next word is Propriety, it's related to proper behavior, correct or proper behavior. For example, you must exercise propriety whenever you are in the public domain. Now, the next is gullible. It means very naive and easily deceived. A person who keeps on following whatever other people say. For example, children are not gullible these days. That means they don't follow everything that adults or their elders tell them to. Next is vacillate. It's similar to oscillate, which means go to and fro, waver between, be undecided, keep fluctuating, and hover about. For example, I kept on vacillating between my emotions and I could not decide what I should do. So vacillate means again, which keeps on hovering here and there. And the next word is homogeneous. Homogeneous is a very common word in chemistry. It's used in mixtures opposite to heterogeneous. Homogeneous means with the same composition, same or similar nature. For example, salt dissolved in water is homogeneous, which has the same composition in all the parts. And the last word on this list is volatile, which means evaporates very easily. For example, some chemicals like acetone, they are very volatile and they're also explosive and they're very fickle. It means they don't stay for a very long period of time. So that means volatile. Let's go ahead and revise these 20 words. Abstain means staying away from something. Apathy means indifference. Adulterate means to contaminate something. Audacious is bold. Laconic is very to the point. Capricious, dependent on whims and fancies. 
Laudable is appreciable, loquacious, very talkative. Corroborate means to support something. Mitigate to reduce the danger or seriousness of something. Desiccate means reducing the spirit of or the life of someone or something. Pedant is giving a lot of attention to formal rules. And gender means bringing forth something. Pragmatic is practical. Ephemeral is short lived. Propriety is with proper behavior. Gullible who believes anyone and everyone. Vacillate means oscillate between two opinions. Homogeneous means of the same nature. And volatile means that evaporates or vanishes quickly. So these were the next top 20 words in the GRE. And now we'll go ahead and in the next video, we will discuss few more words, but let's discuss the next top 20 words as well. So the first word on this list is advocate. Now advocate is very simple to support something or push for something. The synonyms are counsel, exponent, preach or proponent. For example, I strongly advocate anti-slavery laws. That means I believe in them. Next word is antipathy. Now, I told you in the previous section that path is a root word for feelings. Antipathy means having negative feelings for someone, having a lot of distaste, dislike and aversion. Next is bolster. That means to support and strengthen someone. Then is cacophony. Cacophony is related to very harsh and very loud voice that no one likes. A lot of blaring horns or it is also referred to by the word din d-i-n and glamour c-l-a-m-o-r the next word is deride it means to treat or speak someone with a lot of contempt to mock someone the next word is dissonance dissonance means conflict of opinions and conflict of noise so a lot of disturbance is caused whenever dissonance is there the next word is ingenuous, which is a very common word. Sometimes disingenuous is also very common. Ingenuous means the inability to mask your feelings. A person who does not know the craft of hiding his or her feelings or the art of being diplomatic. So that kind of a person is ingenuous. Next word is lethargic, which is related to lifestyle diseases. Lethargic means very lazy. A deficient in alertness and a person who does no activity during the day so you can relate this term to couch potatoes as well next word is malleable malleable is a property of metals which can be formed and changed into any shape so malleable is something that is easily influenced which is ductile pliable tensile tractile and pliant so it's a property of metals and it can also be a property of a person's behavior. The next word is misanthrope. Now, mise is a root word for hatred. Anthrope is a root word for people or humanity. So, a person who dislikes or hates people is a misanthrope. The next word is obdurate, who is stubbornly resistant, does not obey anyone, very obstinate, very unrepentant, granitic and flint. The next word is ostentation. Ostentatious means flashy and showing off. So ostentation is a gaudy outward display, very pompous and pretentious nature. The next word is paradox. Now paradox is also a figure of speech which means a statement that is contradicting itself. For example, a statement, I always lie. So I always lie is a paradox. The next word is philanthropist. File is a root word for love and anthrope. As we discussed in the case of misanthrope is the root word for humanity or men. So philanthropist is a person who loves humanity and does a lot of work for them, a lot of charity. So he's very generous, very beneficent and benevolent. The next word is enerate now enerate is not related to energy but it means to weaken someone morally to rattle someone face someone unsettle someone for example this disturbance has enervated his inner character 
so that is being used for enervate. Next is an eulogy, that means a formal expression of praise. It can be at any public announcement, it can be at the time of death of a person, it can be at any time, but it's a formal expression and a public expression of praise in front of everyone. The next word is garrulous. It is similar to loquacious that we discussed in the last section. It means full of gossip, very talkative, very loquacious. So, loquacious people are garrulous as well. The next word is prevaricate. It means deliberately ambiguous or unclear. So, we have already discussed the word equivocal. So, a person who is intentionally equivocal is prevaricate. The next word is venerate. It's directly related to respect. To venerate means to respect someone, to revere someone, and to show a lot of reverence and respect for someone. So, a person who is venerable means respectable, and veneration means respect. Next and the last word on the list is waver. Waver means pause or hold back something to flicker, to flutter, to quaver, to vacillate, oscillate and baffle. It means to keep removing yourself from the position that you had taken earlier. So that is waver. And we'll discuss and revise these words once again. Advocate means to take someone's side. For example, in a court case, there are a lot of advocates that keep fighting against each other. Antipathy is a feeling of dislike. You Antipathy um, is also for hatred, not just dislike. Bolster means support. Cacophony is loud, harsh voice that you don't want to hear. Deride means insulting someone or mocking someone. Dissonance is when there is no resonance in your opinions. Your frequencies don't match or there is a lot of conflict in opinions. Ingenuous is a person who is not able to hide his feelings, who is not at all diplomatic. Lethargic is related to lazy. Malleable, something that can be changed into another shape or form by the use of force. Misanthrope, a person who hates someone. Obdurate is directly related to obstinate or stubborn, who is resistant to authority. Ostentation is related to show off. Paradox, a statement that contradicts itself philanthropist who loves humanity right and enervate means to reduce someone's morality or weaken him or her morally eulogy is a formal expression of praise garrulous is talkative and loquacious prevaricate is intentionally equivocal venerate is respect and waver means pausing or holding back so we've covered a lot of words in this video we have discussed these 20 words and we also discussed another 20 words before and before that we discussed 12 words. So these are very important 52 words which are very common and you will be getting some of them in your paper definitely. So this is for both GRE and SAT students. There will be a lot of videos more after this video that will be focused on vocabulary. So you can keep watching these videos. Thank you for now.